Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. second grade. Welcome back to our second grade PBS classroom. My name is Mrs. Zane. I'm so excited to have you join us so that you can become amazing readers and writers. And I know you guys are becoming amazing readers. Now, remember you have to use all the skills that we've learned all year and you have to practice those skills by reading to become amazing readers. So I wanted to share more chapter book series for you guys, for those of you that are ready for chapter books. This is a hilarious chapter book series called the Roscoe Riley Rule, a Rules series. And it's super hilarious. I was just quickly reading and looking at some of these pictures. Oh my goodness, Roscoe Riley is so funny because guess what? He's always accidentally breaking all the rules. So this one, is rule number one, never glue your friends to chairs. Hmm, what could happen? If you want to read it, make sure that you are checking out this book on Sora, if you have the Sora app, or at your county library, or at your school library. And if you look on the back, guess what? There are two more books that shows um, the books in these series. So the second one is never swipe a bullies bear and book number three is don't swap your sweater for a dog so this is a series that you want to read try to go and pick it up to continue reading to make your brain super strong okay boys and girls now if you're reading a different book that you want me to share with all the other second graders out there make sure you're writing to me here in a pbs classroom um, you can use the address that you see below or you can email me and I will find those books and share it with all the other second graders, all right? And if you um, put your home address or your return address, I will send you one of these fun activity books. And these are great because summer's coming and these are a great way to keep our brain super strong and smart in the summer, all right? So I'll, I will be patiently waiting for your letters to come so I can go and um, get those books to show all the other second graders out there. All right. Okay. Now, speaking of Sora, if you're using the Sora app in Fresno Unified, let's see if your school is showing up on our top countdown. Are you ready? Okay. Today, we're going to re reveal the top school that came in number three. Let's see if it's your school. Ready? Okay. Coming in number three is Jackson. Jackson Elementary, good job Jackson Elementary. Awesome job, you guys are doing a great job checking out those books and reading. And I think this is the first time that you've been in our countdown and you guys came in at number three. Awesome job reading books, boys and girls. Now, don't forget, you have to check out those books and you have to read them to get your school in our top countdown. So make sure you're checking out those books on the Sora app if you have the Sora app in Fresno Unified. All right. Okay, boys and girls, let's get into our lesson so that we can become super, that's right, super smart because we're making our brain super strong. So we'll start off with, that's right, training our ears. So get those listening ears, turn them up nice and loud because remember we need to hear sound in order to read and write. All right. Okay, today we're going to be playing a fun um, game called phoneme reversal. This is where we're gonna blend some sounds and then you're gonna have to keep those sounds in your mind or in your brain because we're gonna blend them backwards and guess what? There, it's gonna be a new word. So let's see how you guys do. Are you guys ready? Okay, turn those listening ears up. Okay, get your arms out. Help me blend these sounds. Ready? M -a -n. What's the word? Main. Okay, now you guys remember the same sounds. We're gonna go we're going to reverse, back it up. We're going to put our car in reverse and go back. Ready? N, A, M. That was a tricky one. What's my new word? N, A, M. Name. 
Good job. Main, name. Good. Okay, you guys ready for the second set of sounds? Okay, ready? P, each. You got it. What is it? Peach. Okay, now reverse it. Put the car in reverse. Ready? Ch, eep. What is it? Cheap. Good. We go peach, cheap. Awesome job, boys and girls. Okay, last set of sounds. Ready? K, eep. What is it? Keep. You got it. Okay, put that car in reverse. Let's back it up. Ready? P, eek. What is it? Peak. Good job. We go keep and peak. Good job listening to those phonemes. Awesome job. Okay, now remember we have already learned all of our spelling patterns for the year already. So now we're just practicing skills on how to become a fluent reader. And by practicing how to read those multisyllabic words, or what we call those words with more than one syllables. And we can do that by knowing some syllable rules. This week, we are focused on the vowel team syllable. And that rule just means if we see a vowel team, look at all my vowel team um, sounds that we have learned, we're gonna keep them together. We can use the other syllable rules to help us divide the word into a syllable because remember, when we can divide words into smaller chunks, it's more manageable for us to read. So let's practice, ready? So let's look at my first word. So if I'm reading and I come across this first word, I see, my brain sees the O-A as a vowel team, O. Oh, so I know, and guess what I see? I see the word soap. And I know that if I add a Y to it, that's just another, what we call a suffix. Remember, the Y can be a suffix. So if I come across it, I know the Y at the end says E, so what's my word? Soap E. What is it? Soapy, put it together. And that's how we will read a word with more than one syllable. Wasn't that hard, was it? Let's continue. Okay, if I see this word, my brain automatically goes to the two O's. That's my vowel team. I'm gonna keep it together. And ish is another type of suffix. I'm going to make that a syllable by itself. This is foolish. What's my word? Foolish. That's how we read with words with more than one syllable. Okay, let's quickly continue. Here's my AI. Oh, I know this word. This word says mean. So divide it. Remain. Re is a prefix. Did you see those prefixes and suffixes? They make their own syllable. Remain. Awesome job. Let's look at this one. Week in, weekend. Did you see that? Awesome job. And look at this one. Awesome job dividing it. Season, season. Good job reading. Now, today I have a story full of words with more than one syllable with the vowel teams. Let's see if we can read it together. Ready? This is a, um, a story called Neil's Wheels. Look at all those vowel teams, okay? Read it with me, boys and girls. Neil has a wheel shop. The name of the shop is Neil's Wheel, a wheels. Neil can fix any wheel problem. He can patch holes in wheels. He can pump air into them. Neil takes delight in fixing wheels. Indeed, lots of people bring their wheels to Neil. They are certain that he can fix any wheel, but Neil has too many wheels to fix. He needs to find a helper. He cannot endure so much work by himself. He is afraid to try. Neil will write an ad. It will explain the job. He will look for a helper who can fix wheels. Oh, who can, who can fix wheels? Fast. Oh, you see how that didn't sound right, so I had to go back and reread, which is okay. He wants someone who will enjoy the work. Neil is certain he will find a helper soon. How did you do, boys and girls? Awesome. Did you use all those skills that we were practicing, looking for those vowel teams and breaking them up into syllables to read these harder Oh, not harder, but they're just words with multi, or well, more than one syllable, multi-syllabic words, right? With our vowel team, you're right. So like in the word in, deed, you see that? We, I, or in my brain, I went in, deed, and that's how I knew the word indeed. Same thing for certain, when I saw it, I went, oh, here's certain, 
and then I read it as certain. Is that what you did? Awesome, right? Lots of them in here. And that's why it's great to practice reading because we had just um, learned this syllable pattern or the syllable, um, the vowel team syllable. Here's another one, delight. I broke it apart and that's how I read. Awesome job, boys and girls. Okay, now let's continue with our high frequency words because just like we need to practice reading with those um, syllable rules, if you know your high frequency words automatically, then you can just read and write them. So all week we had 10 words. Every day we're gonna focus on two. Let me straighten this. Okay, let's look at the two words for today. Ready? Rough, help me read it again. Rough, spell it with me. R-O-U-G-H, rough, good job. Next word, stranger, read it again. Stranger, spell it with me. S-T-R-A-N-G-E-R, -E stranger. Okay, you guys know what to do next. We're gonna read the two sentences. Help me try to figure out which one of these words will go into the sentence so that it will make sense. Use those context clues to help you. Are you ready? Read the first sentence with me. The skin of the orange fills. Ooh, I heard you guys, good. Let's do the second sentence. The mm does not know anyone in town. Okay, all those context clues. The skin of the orange feels, it feels rough, it does, good job. And the stranger does not know anyone in town. Good job reading. Don't forget if you um, are not sure of one of these words and you can't read and write them automatically, make sure you're writing them down on an index card just like how I did and keep them and every night practice so that you can read and write them with automaticity, all right? Okay, let's end it with our structural analysis today. Remember, we've been learning comparative endings with the ER and the EST. And when we add an ER to a word, it just means we're comparing two nouns. When we add an EST, we are comparing more than two nouns. But here are some um, tricky rules to it. If a word ends with a Y, we need to change it to an I before we can add the ER and the EST. Chili becomes chillier and chilliest with a change, right? If a word ends with a vowel and a consonant, we need to double that consonant. Here's the word flat. Flat becomes flatter with that double T. Adding the EST, flat is with that double T. All right, and then last rule. Remember, these are all reviews. We've learned this already. So as you're writing, make sure you guys are writing these correctly. If I'm writing the word brave, brave ends with an E. What do I need to do? Drop that E before we add ER. Brave becomes braver. If I want to add the EST, it becomes bravest. And I drop that E before I add that EST. So don't forget those words as you're reading and writing. Boys and girls, we have learned so much already and we have more to learn. So don't forget to come back tomorrow because I have another story for us to practice reading with following our vowel team syllable. All right. Have a great day learning with your teacher. Have a great day learning. Read a good book and tell me all about it. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. A rainy day. It was the biggest rainstorm of the A brand new day, time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun, learning is good for everyone.